Hi my dear students, uh, our lesson today is the measuring tools, measuring tools. Uh, at first, what will we measure? We will measure the matter. We will measure the matter. What is meant by matter? Matter is everything around us. Matter is everything around us. Why? Because it has mass and volume. Because it has mass and volume. Mass have mass as it uh, may be heavy, may be light. May be heavy, may be light. Has a volume that it uh, takes takes it takes a space take a space that it may be large or small so uh, your pen is a matter is a matter because it has mass and volume it takes space in your pencil case so what is the definition of matter matter is everything around us that has mass and volume can you tell us some matters around us think how can we estimate the matter if you go to a, sh to a shop and you want to buy something the seller um, use some tools and instruments to evaluate this something that you want to buy so we have to learn the tools and units for measuring we estimate matter by these three parameters something we buy uh, sometimes we buy something uh, by this by the mass and uh, sometimes we buy sometimes something by this by the volume and sometimes uh, we buy something um, by the lens how Fruits and vegetables uh, evaluate by its mass. Water and oil evaluate by its volume. Uh, clothes is, uh, is um, evaluated by the lens. We use the lens. So, the lens uh, can be uh, defined as it is a distance between two different points so we have two points the start point and the end point and we want to measure the length between these two points what are the measuring tools the measuring tools for the length we have two tools uh, the measuring ruler that we use for the short lenses and the graduated tape that we use to measure the long lenses and the measuring units um, keep it in your mind that we have measuring tools and measuring units measuring tools and measuring units the units are we use kilometer, meter, and centimeter. If, uh, if we want to measure a very, very long distances, like the distance between Cairo and Alexandria, uh, we use kilometer unit, as one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. 1000 meters 
and each one meter consists of 100 centimeters. So, can you tell me now what are the measuring tools for the lens and what are the measuring units for the lens? Uh, let's see a video that may uh, may help you to uh, understand more what uh, I explained uh, look uh, I want to now to measure the length of this pencil so this the length of this pencil is long or short I think the pencil is very short so we use the ruler the ruler let's keep oh the ruler keep zero as your fair as your start point and let's see what its length zero one two centimeters three centimeters four centimeters five centimeters six centimeters so the length of this pencil is six centimeters excellent um oh we have a wrapper uh, can you measure the length of this wrapper okay let's bring our ruler i'll keep zero is your start point zero centimeters one centimeter two centimeters so the length of this wrapper is two centimeters great Oh, we have um, uh, we have a screwdriver. Okay, can you tell me the length of this screwdriver? Oh, keep the zero in your in your first in your start point. Zero, one, two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, five centimeters, six centimeters, seven centimeters. So. Uh, the length of this screwdriver is seven centimeters. Great. Oh, we have a car. I think the car is not short. It's long. So we will not use uh, the ruler this time. We will use the measuring tape. Okay, let's pull it and keep zero and use your start point. Oh, uh, look, this time we will not use the centimeter unit, we will use meter unit. So, zero, one meter, two meter, three meter, four meters, five meters, six meters. So, the length is six meters. Oh, uh, we have a board. Hmm. Let's measure its length and keep zero as your start point. <coughs> oh, <coughs> one meter, two meters, three meters. I think its length is three meters. <coughs> we have a window. Look, we have a window. Window is not short, so we use the measuring tape for this long object this lens is zero one meter two meters yes the, the lens of this window is two meters now i think that we learned it, uh, how to measure the lens and we know that now the measuring tools and measuring units okay now what about the mass um, if we want to de uh, define the mass mass is the amount of matter that the object contains I told you previously that um, something may be uh, light it may be heavy um why the some objects are heavy 
objects may be heavy if they contain more matter inside. Look, we have three Shipsy packets. Uh, this Shipsy is um, is a matter. So, can you tell me which which packet is heavier? I think that uh, the biggest one is the heaviest one. Why? Because it contains more matter inside as the mass is the amount of matter that the object contains what is the mass mass is the amount of matter that the object contains how can we measure the mass mass may be, may be measured by the common balance for big masses the heavy objects and sometimes we use a sensitive balance for small masses small masses like uh, rings okay um, and what are the measuring units for the mass we can use a ton which equals 1000 kilograms and each one kilogram equals 1000 grams so we have another tools and another units for the mass mm. let's uh, measure the mass of this object so we use the common balance the common balance common balance is used to measure the mass of heavy objects so we have some fruits and vegetables that we want to measure its mass so this fruit um, this fruit mass equals 1.5 kilogram so if we want to make a balance we use one and half so the are balanced oh uh, the mass of this fruit equals three kilograms so we use three kilograms yes. okay this vegetable mass equals a 2.5 2.5 it may be uh, balanced by one kilogram and one kilogram and half kilograms excellent oh the mass uh, of this uh, fruit equals 3.5 3.5 kilograms so we use two kilogram not balanced yet one kilogram more oh, we want a half kilogram oh now it it balances so the measuring tool is the co common balance and the measuring units here is a kilogram okay now let's talk about the volume um, what is the volume first volume it is the space occupied by the matter any matter takes a space take a space it may be uh, very large or it may be very small how can we estimate the volume of this object volume is the space so we must measure the space that the object takes volume is the space occupied by the matter uh, look, we have uh, these uh, three ships packets. Which one has the biggest volume? Uh, the biggest volume is um, this ships packet. Why? Because it takes more space in this case. How can we measure this the this volume? Uh, sometimes we use the measuring ruler. Measuring ruler but the ruler for lenses so but for regular solid bodies we can use the measuring ruler too 
and graduated surrender for liquids and regular solid bodies. Okay, let's explain more. Uh, measuring the volume for the regular solid bodies. Uh, for regular solid bodies, volume equals length times width times the height. Look, we have a cuboid here. Uh, the longest edge is the length, and uh, the other edge in um, in the same face is the width, and this is the height from the air surface. So, if you want to measure the volume, we use the length times width times height by the ruler. Look, if its length equals two centimeters and width equal width equal uh, one centimeter and the height equals one so the volume equals two times one times one so the total volume equals two times one times one equal two two what two cubic centimeters as we will learn graduated cylinder is used for measuring the volume for liquids like the water and irregular solid bodies like these uh, marbles or small stones. Look, we have uh, three different liquids and we have the graduated cylinder that we will use to measure the volume for these different liquids. Um, look, it's graduated. Graduated that as it has a, it has a grades and uh, all these numbers by the cubic centimeter cubic centimeter is the measuring unit for the volume of liquids so if we pour this water inside oh what is the volume of this of this water i think it's uh, 10 20 30 40 40 what 40 cubic centimeters and what about the milk? Oh, the volume of this milk equals... Oh, it equals 50 cubic centimeters. And the oil. The volume of this uh, oil equals... Hmm. It equals... Uh, 20 cubic centimeters oh. after we learned how to use the graduated cylinder for measuring the volume of a liquid like the water oil and milk we will use the gra this graduated cylinder to measure the volume of irregular solid bodies how uh, let's pour water first Oh, the volume of empty water, the water equal, equal 30 cubic centimeters. So, the volume of irregular object that we will use, uh, V2 minus V1. First, the volume of water is V1, volume number 1, it, and it equals 30. Okay, let's measure the volume of this stone. Oh, the volume, the water level raised up, raised up to 40. So V2 equals 40. So the volume of this object, this stone here equals uh, V2 minus V1, 40 minus 30 equals 10 10 cubic centimeters great okay let's measure the volume of another something let's pour the water first to to measure v1 oh the volume of water m water equals 30 okay the iron object Add the object that we want to measure the volume. Oh, it I think it equals 40 
Yes, it equals 45. So the volume of this iron object equals V2 minus V1 equals 45 minus 30. So it equals 15. Yes. Oh, okay. We have a toy. Can we measure the volume of it? Let's pour the water first. Uh, the volume of water equals 30 cubic centimeter. Okay, let's add our irregular solid body, the toy here. The water level raised up to 35. Yes, so the V2 here equals 35. Okay, the volume of this toy equals V2 minus V1. So it equals 35 minus 30 equals equals 5, 5 cubic centimeter. Now I think that we learned how to measure the volume for uh, liquids and irregular solid bodies using the graduated cylinder. So the measuring units for uh, for the volume. Uh, uh, our cubic meter and the cubic meter equals 1000 cubic centimeters and this unit is measured for the solids for the solids but the cubic centimeters equals 1 milliliter the milliliter uh, is used to measure the volume uh, of the liquids and the biggest unit for uh, the bigger unit for milliliters is liter. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters, and this unit is measured is used for liquids. So we have measuring tools and measuring units. The measuring tools for the volume are measuring ruler and the graduated cylinder, and the measuring units for. Uh, for the volume are cubic meter and the cubic centimeters for, for solids and the milliliter and liters for liquids. Finally we have some notes that you must um, uh, keep when we uh, use the measuring cylinder. Uh, on reading the measuring cylinder the vision must be horizontal. horizontal as in level B, not C, not A. Horizontal position at the bottom point of water level. We use the bottom point. And the bottom point is the lowest point in the level of the liquid. Uh, and the other note that uh, if we uh, have some solid matters that it may be dissolved inside the water uh, we can use oil instead of water in measuring the volume of a solid that is dissolved in water like the sugar uh, as if we put the sugar inside the water it will dissolve and disappear so we use oil instead of water as it not dissolve and so the water level will be raised up um, Equals volume of different materials have different masses. It's important. Equal volumes of different materials have different masses, and different volume of similar materials have different masses. Let's let's explain that. Equal volumes. It has. They have the same volume of different materials: wood, iron, plastic. So equal volumes but of different materials they have a different masses as the iron may be the heaviest one and wood less and the gray and the plastic less the least one so equal volumes of different materials have different masses okay 
Now, uh, lesson one has finished. I hope that you uh, understand uh, all what I said. And see you next lesson. Thank you.